see the sign up here that's right we got a Troy City brewing beer so we're going local with homebrew again now I'm a little bit upset because this is my last homebrew that I have from Nate so maybe one day he'll share some more creations with me the other ones that I've had from him have so far have been quite good and a whole lot of fun to review and tonight we got something pretty unique something that I haven't reviewed before and I've only had one other time and this particular brew here is an apple graph now you're saying maybe, you know, what's an apple graph from our buddy up in Berkeley, Massachusetts, U.S. of A? Yay, yay. Well, an apple graph is a combination between sort of a cider and a beer at the same time. They use, you know, um, grains in it, bar, you know, uh, brewing grains, as well as apple juice and hops. So it's a combo. Now there's a commercial product that I have had that sucks that's supposed to be an apple graph, which is Red's Apple Ale. I really think that's what that's supposed to be, and they like to say, oh, it's an ale. But we know that's basically commercially produced crap that's been loaded up with sugar to taste sweet. Anyways, we're going to pop the top on this, get it in the glass, and tell you what's up with Nate's Apple Graph. Now, ah, nice hiss off the top. This is a 6.5% ABV brew, and Ooh, it smells nice here, already arrow apple -y. And, you know, the difference is, like I said, they're using malt in this, grains, and then hops, as opposed to just the uh, uh, apple juice to make a cider. So, poured it out. This has been in my refrigerator for a little while. Crystal clear. looks just like a commercial cider. Lots of streaming bubbles from the bottom. We got a half finger of head. These kind of uh, graphs, the one that I've had, didn't have a humongous head either. That's just the nature of the beast. When you put that apple juice in there, it has an effect on the head and also the head retention because it's not technically a beer. It's a combo. But crystal clear, and it's a lovely apple juice color, you know, like you just got it out of the store when I swirl it. I'm getting a little bit of that glazing uh, clinging to the side of the glass because there is some proteins in there since there's malt in this. And... Um, Super clear. Wow. Perfect. Gorgeous looking uh, graph. Looks like a gorgeous cider, really. Let's get a nose on this see what's going up, or going on anyways, with the apple graph. Wow, that's really cool. It smells like a hop cider, to be honest with you. Um, I've made a couple hop ciders, but it's got a nice sweetness from the apple. It's got a honey smell to it. it smells like a tart apple. You can smell the sweetness from the malt, and then a floral citrusy hop is in the background. Man, this is really tasty smell. I want to get a drink on this. Cheers, guys. Let's see what's up in the taste department. Wow. It's got a, a thin, sort of watery, apple juicy body like a cider does. The hop is in there. It's a little more coating than the apple cider is. I'm assuming that's because of the presence of the malt. It's got zippy carbonation like you'd expect out of a hard cider. Right up at the front, you get the apple taste. And then in the middle, you're getting that sort of floral citrusy hop kind of, but it's real faint playing in the background. And then the end is a dry finish like a classic hard cider that's been fermented all the way out. Really tasty. And it's kind of like a real, like, like it's saying, it's a graph. It's that combination sort of balancing act between the cider and the, um, excuse me, between the cider and the uh, sort of beer character at the same time. This is really enjoyable. Let me take another taste of this. Wow. That's really nice. I, I'm, I'm kind of perplexed how to grade this because do you grade it as a cider or do you grade it as a beer or kind of both? Um, I'm gonna, I think, give it a B plus. It's a really tasty drink. Um, you can only get it from Nate, and you can only get this from home brewers. Now, if you have this compared to the Red's Apple Ale, this blows it away totally by freaking miles. That's a sweet mess when you drink that. This has a nice dry finish. It has a good amount of sweetness, and it's quite crisp, and it has a has a sparkling wine sort of finish to it, more so than a straight full-on cider. Really nice job on this, Nate. You know, I'm the cider-making man, so I guess... I got kind of some kind of opinion on it. There's no alcohol taste at all on this or burn, you know, at all. Really great job on this, man. 
every brew I've had from you has been great, and this one is no exception. So, guys, if you can do me a big favor now and think globally and drink locally and support the craft beer movement, guys, help this shit keep growing. You know what? Help your home brewer, man. Buy him some grains. Give him some money. Give him a freaking gift certificate to the home brew store because they'll brew some shit and he'll hook you the hell up. So, until the next day, next DJ's brew tube, thanks a million for watching. And until then, damn, don't forget to watch Nate's channel again. And that's a big peace out.